Hey guys, this is James from Acceleration Sports Performance. We're going to talk about debunking another myth today, all right? This is going to be the difference between static stretching and dynamic stretching, okay? What we've always been taught is we should be doing static stretching before games, before exercise, before practices. Actually, one of the worst things you could do as an athlete. It's one, it can increase your risk of injury, and then number two, it can actually have a negative effect on performance. So today what I'm going to talk about is the main differences at static versus dynamic. When is it appropriate to do? When is it not appropriate to do? So what I'm going to now give is an example of static flexibility. Okay, so a static flexibility stretch would be just right here, feet together, coming down, touching your toes, holding for 30 seconds. After you hold for 30, repeat, do about two or three sets of that, okay? This is beneficial for an athlete who does have large flexibility discrepancies. So normally is very tight, has sometimes lower back pain, um, is a little stiff when they move on the field. You want to incorporate this always after activity, okay? As a cool down and to increase overall length tension at the muscle. If you increase length tension, it's going to have a harder contraction when that muscle contracts. So now we're going to talk about examples of dynamic mobility or dynamic stretch and technically before you go into a game, okay? This is the type of exercise and type of functional movements you should be doing before a game, okay? Which is stuff that you guys have already done before. Examples would be jog, butt kickers, side shuffle, karaoke, high knees, okay? Essentially what you're doing is when you're incorporating a dynamic movement, the muscle is lengthening and shortening. So the muscle is contracting the way it's going to when you're in a game or practice situation, okay? Very important just because it's going to the same thing, increase neurological drive, okay? The muscle is going to contract the proper way. Again, always dynamic before activity, never static because with static stretching makes the muscles more pliable, can actually increase your risk of injury.